In late June and early July, Scripps College students and faculty participated in the Healthy Homes, Healthy Living Initiative in Ecuador. The project is interdisciplinary and includes other students and faculty from across the university, as well as students and faculty from Catholic University of Ecuador. Scripps students participated in all aspects of the project while adding their own specialized skills in storytelling, media production, and research. The Healthy Homes, Healthy Living project in Ecuador is primarily focused on three small villages outside of the city of Cariamanga, which is located in the Loja province of Ecuador. The villages are situated in a remote valley within a very mountainous region of the province. A general objective of the project is to identify homes that have infestations of chichuro bugs, sometimes called kissing bugs. Those bugs spread a parasitic infection called Chagas disease, which can cause both chronic and acute symptoms leading to heart failure. After a 45-minute drive from Cariamanga, members of entomological search teams locate homes spread throughout the valleys. Some homes are situated in very remote settings, often well away from even basic dirt roads. Homes in the villages are generally made of adobe bricks, bamboo, and clay tiles. Because the adobe is porous, bugs can easily enter the walls and infest homes. The job of the entomological teams is to search for bugs and then document what they find. As explained by one of the entomologists, each search begins with an explanation of risks and benefits to the homeowner, a process called informed consent. Okay, so the first step on entomological search is uh, to, to get the permission uh, by, uh, by a consentment, assignment consentment. So in this uh, document we explain all to the people, to the house owner, uh, what we're going to do. The, inside and around the house <coughs> to look in, in the walls, in the roof, on the floor. So we advise about uh, all the pros and, and all the dangers, all the benefits that people have in this, in this kind of, of research. So it's not mandatory also. So if they want, uh, we, do, we do this. So if they don't want, it's not mandatory for them to get our permission. Once informed consent is obtained, entomologists, public health officials, and volunteers begin a systematic search of the home. The search process involves a complete inspection of areas where bugs are likely to live and to come into contact with people. Specific attention is given to beds where kissing bugs would have the opportunity to bite people at night. Chichuros are also commonly living in areas where other animals are present, such as in chicken coops on the side of the homes or in the rafters. Inspections can last for nearly an hour. All located bugs are saved in collection containers for later analysis. Once inspections are done, all kitchen items and bedding are temporarily removed from the home and items are moved away from the walls. Once that is done, members of the team spray insecticide on the walls, a treatment that may be effective for approximately three months. For most of these homes, this process happens only once every several years. Upon returning from the field, Chichuro specimens are analyzed. The director of the lab, of the field lab, explains the initial stages of this process. Sí. Hey, my name is Sofia Ocaño. I am researcher at the CCL. Uh, we are here in the field lab of parasitology. We do the analysis of triatomines that are collected in the field. So we, um, our uh, objective is to detect the presence of the parasites in the intestinal content of the triatomines and also to isolate the parasites in culture media uh, to let them grow and do further genetic analysis. And so in this uh, hood, uh, we have sterile conditions 
and we can get samples from the from the intestinal content to to grow. To support the work done by Ohio University and Scripps students, please consider supporting the project by visiting h3living.org. That's h the number three living.org.